Hello, this is Lucas. Welcome to this HTML tutorial. In this video, we'll go over how we can add a web page within a web page. So, I have created this new uh, web page for us. I just have a header and an image. I added a small bit of CSS here, and I'll show you how this looks like now. So, it's this one here. This is my header. Then we have an image. What, what we're going to do is we're going to add this web page inside of this web page here so we can get started so in the index so i have two files here this is the page that i have created so this is the page that we are going to add into this page here so we're going to be using the iframe for this so we can create ourselves the iframe here then we need to give a source this source is just the the directory to the web page that we want to display. So I wanted to I want to display the iframe.html. So we can just write in iframe.html. This is the web page that we want to display. Obviously if it's in another directory we have to link the path to that file as well. Then after this we can set the width and the height. So how big we want uh, this frame to be. So if we go height, we can specify, let's do 200 for now, let's see how that looks, and then we can specify the width, let's say we do 300. Then we can, we can just give it a title, and we can do something like iframe, we'll just do iframe. And then we obviously we close as well. So this is about it. For the iframe now if we so we save that let's go to our page again and if you refresh this you can see we have this web page displayed in our web page here now be because the dimensions are small we have this scroll bar here if we're able to display the whole web page within the border that we have set we, we won't have this scroll wheel, so I'll show you what I mean by that. So if we go back to our code, if we make this bigger, if we put the height to like 400 and the width, let's do 500, we save that. We go back, we refresh that, you can see we don't have the scroll wheel anymore because our whole web page is now displayed. Now we can actually edit this a little bit. So we set the, we set the dimensions like this, Height and width. We can also use CSS to do that. So if we remove them, and if we just do style, now we can set our width and height in here. So what we can do is we can do height, and we can equal this to. Let's say I'll just do this. I'll change it up. Let's do 500. Now we can also have the width. The width. Let's say we'll do. The width will do 400. Sure. So we we can use CSS to display this as well. Now you can see this has changed. Ooh. So height is that, and then width is. Oh, we did forget the pixels. So px, we do need them. Now if you go back, we refresh this. You, you can see that this has been updated. Now there's a couple other things that we can do. Uh, for example, you can see there is a border here. We can remove that just by using CSS again. So if we remove, uh, we'll keep the we'll keep the dimensions in for now. But we can remove the border, and all we have to do is we do border, and then we could just do none. This just removes the border. You can see we don't have the border again because obviously we can change the border to something else. We can have we can let's say we'll do three pixels. We'll make a a. I think we can do a dashed and then we'll give it a color blue. So now if you go back to our web page here, we can see we refresh we re refresh this. We have a three pixel dashed blue border around here. Now there is one more thing that I want to show you. What we can do is we can actually add a link to this. So if we do a href, then all all we have to do is just link. The path to our page so we do iframe.html 
then we just do open and close and now all we have to do is we have to take all of this and we can just paste it inside of here we save that we refresh this Ooh. because I have that twice so we don't actually need this here we go back we refresh this you can see we have this here and if I click it we get directed straight to that page right there so that's about it for how we can display uh, a web page within a web page using the iframe. Hope this video helped and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.